Hi everybody, I'm going to read our story for next week which is by one of our favourite authors, Julia Donaldson and it's called The Everywhere Bear, The Everywhere Bear and we're going to be doing lots of work about this book so we're going to read The Everywhere Bear by Julia Donaldson and the, um, the illustrator Brooke Cobb. With her blue pointy shoes and her hair in a bun, Mrs McAllister teaches class one. That's Ollie and Holly and Josie and Jay, Leo and Theo and April and May, Billy and Lily and little Lee Woo, Daisy and Maisie and Matt who is new, Hannah, Hazala, Callum and Claire, Kevin and Bev and the everywhere bear. Can you spot the everywhere bear in the classroom? Can you see him? You see where he is? It's just on the shelf next to the boat and on top of the rocket. You see him on the shelf there? That's everywhere there. The everywhere bear has a home on the shelf, but he doesn't spend much time by himself. For each boy and girl in the class is a friend. He goes home with one of them every weekend. On Mondays, they carry him back to class one and tell all the others the things that he's done. He has rides with April and horse rides with May. He eats burgers with Billy and jelly with Jay. The everywhere bear's just like Lucy the Llama in our class, isn't he? Goes home every weekend with somebody and goes on all sorts of adventures with them. With Lee Woo, he's a pirate, with Kevin and King, and Caleb and Claire push him on the swing. He bounces with Bev and does handstands with Holly. He likes playing football with Maisie and Ollie. He always makes dens when he goes home with Daisy and at Lily's they let him be lovely and lazy. With Leo and Theo he likes to tinkle a tune and with Hannah Hazala he likes to go to the moon. Oh we did that last week. With Josie he whizzes about in a chair. No wonder they call him the everywhere Look at all those things he's done, he's been dressing up and going to the park and playing football and being lazy. We quite like that, don't we, at the weekend, just to chill out and relax and playing on the xylophone with Leo and Theo. He's been in a rocket, he's been in a den. He really is an everywhere bear. One rainy Monday, the new boy called Matt was splashing to school when he spotted a cat. And when he bent over to give it a cuddle, the everywhere bear tumbled into a puddle. Just round the corner, a driver called Pete sat in a van painting stripes on the street. Can you see the cat? Matt got to school and sat down on his chair. He opened his bag and the bear wasn't there. Nobody knew that the poor little fellow just like the street had been painted bright yellow and nobody saw when a river of rain washed him and whooshed him head first down the drain. Can you see him going in the drain? Look, oh no, he was crushed. And no one was there when the bear with the stripe dirty and dizzy splashed out of the pipe. Oh no, he's in the sea. The water was wild and the weather was wet when Jim, Jeff and Jonathan hauled in their net. The waves rocked the boat and a storm filled the air. None of them noticed the everywhere bear. <gasps> Look, he's in the fishing net with all the fish. Oh, the poor bear. Back in the harbour, Mohammed Hussein lifted the fish net off the boat with a crane. Give you what it said, all Mrs. Bishop. She cheerfully wheeled them away to her fish shop. Where's the bear? Can you see him? He's in that blue box. She started unpacking him and then muttered, That's odd. There's a bear wrapped in seaweed between these two cod. Out of the fish shop and into a skip and into a lorry and off to the tip. Oh my goodness, it's going to the tip. Aha! Squawked a seagull called Solomon Shriek. I smell fish. And he picked up the bear in his beak. Then he flew over the trees over the town. And the bear 
there, saw his school when he dared to look down. Then Solomon perched on the roof of a shop. This isn't a fish! And he let the bear drop. <gasps> now it's dropping to the floor. Then a very kind lady called Bethany Burke picked up the bear on her way to work. Each Friday morning, Class 1 pays a visit to one of their favourite places. Where is it? Where do you think they're going on their class trip? The library! Jay finds a book about us. Josie talks about buses and cars. Lee likes aliens and Lee likes lizards. Hannah Hazala is keener on wizards. We love going to the library, our class, don't we? We have to go upstairs to see Mr Steele in our library, don't we? Finally, everyone's chosen a book. The queue at the counter, then Matt cries out, Look! April and May and the others say, Where? Behind you! He's there! It's the everywhere bear! Then they carry him happily home to class one and saying, Where have you been, bear? And what have you done? We know these children, don't do they? The bear never talks, but he smiles to himself and he thinks as he settles back down on his shelf. I've been in a puddle, I've been down a drain, I've been in a boat and I've been in a crane, I've been in a shop and I've been on a skip, I've been in a lorry, I've been on a tip, I've been in a, I've been in a beak and I've been in the air. No wonder they call me the everywhere. Bear. He's been everywhere, hasn't he? Everywhere you can go. He's been in a boat, he's been in a net with all the fish, he's been in a lorry, he's been in a bin, a seagull tried to eat him. He was off on a very big adventure. And that, children, is the end of the story, The Everywhere Bear. I hope you enjoyed it.